Hello, this is Professor Basway. This is an orientation for my Math Pen Online. I have this slide inside Canvas. You can just look at it. But first, I'm going to do a live demonstration and then go through the presentation. Okay. IBC webpage. That's where you're going to email. Here's the email area. That's where you're going to access Canvas. And that's where you're going to find my schedule and my web page. Let me show you my web page first. You go to academics. Then you go to mathematics. Go to mathematics again. Then you are going to go to faculty and click on my name. Under that, you'll see my schedule and all the other pertinent information. That is the IVC webpage. Now, when you go back to IVC's webpage, you will see the Canvas site. So let me show you. Canvas login is there. That's where your class is going to be managed. Once you get in, you're going to see some like, no, not that one, something like this. This is inside your Canvas class, and your home page is going to look some like that. Modules is the shortcut for what's inside this class, and statistics videos here are the ones that are going to teach you how to use your graphing calculator. Make sure you click on announcements to read your announcements every day or every other day. Um, you click on modules to see the content. The slides for this presentation is right here, orientation slides. Your syllabus is right here. Get a print out of that. And the video list that you need to watch is here. And the Orientation video is right here. Now, under assignments, as part of your uh, orientation, you need to submit contract and entry survey. This is where you do that, and you need to do that before August 18. You can see people here, and you can check your grades, all that good stuff. This is the important part. When you click on My Lab and Mastering, that's where you're going to sign up to buy access to Pearson. Now, I will show you in the slides how you sign up. But when you click on the home page, you're going to see something like this. It may not be as crowded as this. And you're, you're going to probably have just this link, Math Pen Online. You're going to click on that, and that's going to bring up your class. Now, what's in there? In there, you have your book. Chapter contents, you click on it. And that's where you read your book. Now, assignments is going to have all the assignments that you have to do. And in the syllabus, the deadlines are there. You have homework, and here are the due dates. Make sure you watch out for that. Your quizzes are here. And you're going to send me weekly emails and come here and submit email one, email two. There, I think there are 16 of them. Before the midterm, you're going to click on midterm drill and take that to practice. Before final, you take that to practice. At the end of each chapter, you are going to take a discussion thing. So, for example, chapter one discussion, you scroll down. Here's chapter one discussion. You click on respond to post your answer. You can see your grades right here. You can practice with data sets right here. This is important. Multimedia library is going to have the videos that go with your book. For example, Introduction to Statistics, all sections, and you are looking at section video, find now. You're going to see a bunch of videos in there. You just have to click and do them and watch them. 
Now, these videos are different than the videos, graphic videos that I posted on the first homepage on Canvas. You have to do this and you have to do that graphing calculator one as well. Now, for this class, you're going to have to purchase the book online. This is the access to my math lab or Pearson. And you're going to have to purchase a graphing calculator, either TI-83 or 84, because you are going to run out of time in terms of midterm and the final. If you don't have a calculator, you are doing everything by hand. I will teach you how to use your calculator in those videos that I showed you on the first page of Canvas. Let's go back to our presentation. Now, here's the web page address, and I showed you where the email, Canvas, and my web page were. Now, my web pages, as I showed you, has my office hours. Now, if you need help, you can actually call me at this phone number and email me at this email address. Math Center is in B363. Here are its hours. And if you run into computer problems, call this number. For Pearson support, where you do your homework, here are the numbers, here are the web pages. For orientation, you need to go to Canvas and submit your contract and entry survey after you read your syllabus. I showed you where that was. Then email me that you did all this. Then you have to go to that My Math Lab area and act, you know, uh, purchase the access to Pearson because that's where you're going to do your homework. Now, if you cannot finish those orientation steps, you have to come to August 18, 5 to 6 p.m. at this location for orientation. It's just one hour. Then you're going to have until uh, August 23rd to finish those steps. Now, inside the canvas, I showed you where the assignments and the access and all that was, but I will just go through it. Inside Canvas, this is where your contract is under assignment. Then you can click on the modules and you can see this video and the slides that I'm displaying. The My Math Lab access is going to take you to this side. And then when you click the ebook, it's going to display this or something close to this. Then you're going to have to purchase. You click on here to purchase it online. You click on here if you want to buy it in the bookstore and then enter those codes. This is your online purchase display. You have to enter your um, information. Do not use this temporary access thing. You can just look at it if you want, but it creates problems in the long run. If you are uh, committed to this class, just go ahead and buy the permanent code. Now, when you click on my math lab, like I said, when you are entering your credit card information, it's going to ask you your username. Use the first part of IVC email. Put 00 if that email address is taken. Then you have to enter a password. I'm not going to know your password. Make sure you keep it at a safe place. If it asks you for a class ID, you're in the wrong place. Call tech support and I gave you that phone number. Now, if you complete entry survey contract, email me and purchase the Pearson access, you're done. You don't have to come in. If you have any doubt, please come in at this time and date to this location. Now, how do you do this class in general? Put the deadline someplace in your personal calendar, in your phone or something. Watch the instructional videos inside Pearson. I showed you multimedia area. Read your book and then do your homework. Right before you do your homework, you may want to watch my graphing calculator videos and learn how to use your graphing calculator. 
Then you are going to do your quiz inside Pearson. And remember, after that, you have to do a discussion board at the end of each chapter. And then you have to email me your progress. Then go inside Pearson and take the email quiz. If you forget the stage, you're not going to get credit for the email that you sent. Class videos. Let's go over it. Now, in Pearson, your class videos are under multimedia library per chapter. The graphing calculator videos are on the first page of Canvas under this link. And I made those to help you out. Your book is inside Pearson and it's under chapter content. Your homework is inside Pearson under assignment. Your email quizzes and your regular quizzes are under assignment inside Pearson. And the discussions are also inside Pearson under discussion. When you want to post your discussions, click on the link and post. For your in-person meetings, remember the first one is optional. It depends on your effort. The second one is mandatory. Here is the location and here is the time. The final is mandatory. Here is the location. Here is the time. Here is the orientation date again. Here is the midterm date again. And the final exam. We may have additional optional meetings. If you want to meet with me in person in an evening before the midterm and the final, I'll be available. Thank you for watching.